Because there is a vacancy somewhere, it doesn't mean a butcher will do well. Look at the other butcheries around you. Do some research and know how they are selling. And maybe look for a niche, something that you can capitalize on. Like I would tell you around here, we are the only butchery that talks fish. Do you know you can start your own butchery business and generate a whooping 20,000 Kenya shillings as a profit daily? This will only happen once you watch this comprehensive guide. Now, we are going to discover essential tips, strategies, steps on how to launch your own butchery business, attract customers, and maximize your earnings. I have been invited by a butcher lady in Ogata Rongai. This is in Kajado County. Guys, ignore the sticker. Please ignore the sticker. Let's go to Ogata Rongai. Welcome to Stare Butchery, Ogata Rongai. We are located at the formerly known as Tuskies Parking Area just behind the main stage at the clean shelf area. I think that is good enough to help someone trace where we are. As you board your matatu, you're just right behind them. When did you start this butchery? 20th February this year. Okay. Literally, we are like four months here. Nice. Why did you decide to do butchery business instead of any other business? First, because I'm doing this with my husband to know we had prior experience with doing meat. We have been supplying to restaurants and institutions. So coming into butchery, it wasn't a new thing for us. Where do you get your meat from? For beef, we source from the Goretti slaughterhouse. For chicken, we saw we we keep. We have a farm, and among other products, we have other different sources of farmers that we collaborate with. Like from the chicken, we get the parts. So the chicken we've gotten from our farm and from our farmers. Farmers who are around Kangundo areas and uh, at Kiambu, mostly those are the farmers we use. Take us through the process of getting the meat uh, from the slaughterhouse to your butchery. Mm -hmm. I, I think the list of the meat is the one that you get from slaughterhouse. That is mostly the beef, matumbo and liver. However, they form the majority of what we stock. So we have someone who supplies us from the slaughterhouse. We place our order in the evening for it to be prepared in the morning. And we have someone whom we use as a transporter. Though on alternate days, we would go to pick the meat for ourselves. We go to confirm that it is what we wanted. It is weighed before it is picked. Then the meat is brought. We weigh again and check everything. If it is okay, then it is received into the butcher. Who are your target customers and how do you make them satisfied with, them, with your meat? Right here at the butchery, most of our target customers are people stocking for home use. Those are buying those ones that are buying in small quantities and those are stocking in bulk. We have we are supplying clients within this area and the entire metropolitan. We've been supplying to their homes. Those are our target clients, especially when we're marketing online. We are targeting those who do bulk stocking. And how we ensure that we satisfy them, we have maintained the quality. When we took over this butchery, it was known for quality. And that is one thing that we ensured. We did not change the suppliers to continue with the quality. And we've also maintained high level of hygiene and client satisfaction. The experience to the customers is awesome. What type of meat do you sell? Ah, thank you. I think I'll begin by saying first we do halal meat and I'll say we have beef, we have goat meat 
And from beef, we do value addition. We have prime cuts. One of our most best selling is T-bone, ribeye, and another like you can see, I know you cannot see at the price list, but we do osobuko, ram steak, all the parts, all the prime cuts. We also do poultry, that is the, we do chicken, and all chicken parts, that is including even the feet, we package them. We have chicken wings, drumsticks, dyes, gizzards, liver, every part of chicken, and we package for ourselves. We also have chick uh, fish, that is the fish fillet, and the tilapia, the all fish. The fish fillet is from nail, for nail patch, and all fish that we do is lake fish. In additionally, we have matumbo, liver, that is for both goat and cow. And additionally, we have honey, and we produce beef tallow. These are Osumbu cockats, very nice for your stew. You can see the bone marrow it forms very thick stew. Nice, so able to capture them. So it has the bone marrow plus the meat. You do you can do it wet fry or with mild stew, just how you like it. These are short ribs. You can oven cook them or just choma. And you can also do them for stew. They are very, they form very tasty stew. You can do them wet fry or even dry. And here I have the ham. I'm a nundu. Nundu, the way you call it. Very nice. Nundu is best cooked. Just put in oven after marinating and let it cook. The cuts are molding. This is where we draw the T-bone from. Though this is just generally for cooking on the sufuria, but there is the T-bone that we make for you. I know you've seen those who buy T-bone from us for pan frying. But I was, this was to sample to show you which part is the T-bone. As you can see, it forms the T. We make the best of the T-bones in market. <music> We open at 8 a.m. We close at 10 p.m. How much does it cost to start a butcher? Um, I, I, I wouldn't be able to answer that because it is relative, depends with the size of butchery. However, like for our case, we bought an already existing butchery. We did not start from scratch. Someone have so that he or she can qualify to be employed by Sarah Butcher. Uh, first, you must have the experience. Uh, however, I would also wish to give a chance to someone who wants to learn. To learn, like right now, I have one butcher man who is being trained by the rest who have experience. He's been coming for trainings, hoping to be absorbed soon. So for me, I'm just looking for experience and anyone also who might be willing to learn. How do you do your price mm, When we began, we just continued with the price list that was here and it is based on mostly what other people are pricing, like that is the competitors. So what determines, before we introduce a new product, first we research about what should be the retail price so that we can now negotiate on what price we should get from the supplier. We always work within what is the, within the market price. And what do, you, do I need to start a butchery business? Is it for you to bought it from someone? Uh, of course, capital, because even us, we didn't get it free. We bought it, a lot of money. Also, for if you needed to start, maybe, probably like what we have here at Stare, you'd need 
at least two to three million to be able to start what we have right here. So first you need the capital, good capital, to have uh, such a standard butchery that is with modern equipments and that because it's the equipment that make our work easier. Did you incur any losses at the beginning? I would say yes, because so despite us having done meat business, we ne never run a butchery, and there are things that we've learned on cause. We had times when we would have some spoiled meat, and you know what that means? We discard it. Eh? But we've learned with time, we are also able to manage our stocks well to avoid any excesses, because we always have fresh meat every day. What are the key things that one should consider before setting up this type of business? First, consider your location because the because there is a vacancy somewhere it doesn't mean a butcher will do well. Look at the other butcheries around you. Do some research and know how they are selling. And maybe look for a niche, something that you can capitalize on. Like I would tell you, around here, we are the only butchery that stocks fish. We are the only butchery that has chicken parts, that is the breast, the ones that I mentioned, liver and such. So that is also one thing that we looked and we found missing in the butcheries around. The butcheries around just sell beef and goat, and the ones that go far will only sell chicken. That's it. <laughs> definitely yes it's a definitely yes it's just about how about how you do your management you can see you have some samosa tell us about the samosa soda water ah i i don't know i forgot to mention our samosas it is the signature meal here being that we do not cook, but that is the only co cooked food we sell. Of course, apart from the deep fried tilapia fish, it is anyone who has lived in Rongai, they know about starehe samosas. We have our secret recipe for samosas. We only sell them at 50 shillings only. We supply, we get orders for restaurants around when they have restaurants. I have clients who order for these samosas as far as from Kitui and beyond. We also do the pre-cooked samosas at 45 shillings that will go and dip in our house. We have the Coca-Cola fridge with water, that is the sunny, and other Coca-Cola beverages. And you know that will go well with the samosas. As, as you've seen, we have good sitting area where people come and sit as they enjoy their samosas and soda. Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel mm. the fire. Nice. And it's big enough. Wow. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young. It is just begun. How much time did you make Friday? <laughs> wow. Mm, let's say good money. Two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. Never shut from the top. I told you we have all chicken cuts. These are drumsticks, RPG. These are next. We weigh them before we cut them. These for 150 shillings. We have chicken next year. We weigh them. These are KG. KG is at 350. These are fish fillet. <coughs> it's already weighed. We sell them in, in slices. These are chicken liver. These are one kg. We sell at 250. 
but today we had an offer we are selling at 200 per kg how much the offer today for it was at 200 per kg we usually also talk chicken nets but for today people have already bought all that we had in stock we are slaughtering more chicken tomorrow and we shall be stock on this other side we just find the same products chicken nets chicken wings how can people find you ah thank you we are on instagram as Taraya Buchari, one guy. You can, I'm the one using TikTok. I have TikTok account for the business Motedia Entrepreneur. That is at Motedia underscore Entrepreneur. On Facebook, find me as Motedia Betty. That is what I use to market the business. And physically, you can see our physical location on Google Maps. Just search for Taraya Buchari. You'll find us there. You'll even see the overview of the butchery. You'll see our contacts. But I'll still mention the contact is 0758 We have this butchery and we have the company that we use to supply in very high-end restaurants, not to mention any name. We supply for your events, your rural show, any event you have, a mini party. You want to host your guests in the house. You do not want hassle. We just prepare your samosas. We to cook them. We just be fry. We can marinate your chicken wings for you, your drumsticks, your fish fillet. Every event that you have, even for your small house party, the schools are just about to go on midterm. Do not strain making your learners comfortable for breakfast, your chicken and saria. You just call, we deliver while you're at work. The product goes to your house right from Stare Butari. Thank you. guys about butchery business make sure you come over here and buy some meat and keep it right here for more business tips uh, you can also give us a comment on the comment section i'll see you next time please make sure that you subscribe Love